just what you guys' emotions, uh, you know, I know, you know, your debut may, you know, might, might come a little bit later, but you're in there tonight. What's just your emotions right now? Uh, I'm so excited, so excited to be here, so excited to step in right away, so it didn't take long, and um, yeah, very excited, I would say, because I wasn't out of the lineup for the like couple, couple last game. Obviously, that was uh, kind of tough for me, but right now, ready to go, and yeah, I'm so happy I'm here. Getting trades obviously never easy, but does it become easier when you get traded with a teammate that way? You know, you know someone. Does that help? Yeah, I mean, uh, our teammates. It's Awesome. Even even like families and wives, and they make it so easy for us. There was a so warm, such a warm welcome, and uh, the organization made the travel for us so easy. And yeah, I'm just want to say thank you for that because we really appreciate like every detail. The they take care of it. Like our teammates is great. As I said, everyone like just top notch. Just top notch. Yeah, great that, people here. That's all about it. Yeah, you guys try to help us out. It's like. It's amazing. Try, try to make us like everything easier for us. It's exactly what we need right now, and really appreciate that. How did you guys find out? Were you together? What was the process of being told? It's like I don't know. A couple of days ago, you know, I had no clue about anything before they pulled me out of the lineup, and uh, then st things started rolling out. And uh, uh, obviously, Gabby has been out of the lineup for a longer time than me. So uh, find it out in the plane when we. We got back home in, in Columbus and uh, flew out next day. So things happened quickly. But for you, you've been out of the lineup for so long. Was it nice to just finally have a resolution to a situation where I know I'm coming here and I know I kind of get back going and playing again? Yeah, exactly. Well, before that, I didn't know if I will play tonight or not. But yeah, obviously, I'm just uh, glad it's like it's over and the deal was done. So it's like real, really about it. Glad to be here. Usually in a you know, situation when a player gets held out, held out, at least previously before this year, usually that player is traded right away. Yeah. It's like a 24-hour thing or whatever. Yeah. It's obviously it was lasted long. I mean, did it get how frustrating did did that get to sit for that long? I never been in a situation like that before, so I didn't know exactly what I have to expect, and uh, I didn't know how like how fast it's going to be that, but obviously as a healthy player you want to play, so that's it. Even if it's going to be one game or two, um, it's kind of it's kind of weird, just like weird to watch your team play right now, and um, yeah, it's it's just a different work off the ice, like on the ice, you know, it's like you have to adjust your, yourself uh, for that. But um, yeah, it takes like almost two weeks, that was obviously, uh, I didn't expect that to be honest, but like I, what, what could I do? Like nothing, to be honest. Just wait, and uh, I was still in the team, the, the teammates around, and I have to practice every day. Kind of, kind of, still same for me. Nothing changes. How, for tonight's game, I'm sorry. For tonight's game, um, how, how much do you balance wanting to kind of keep things, you know, simple? Because you're obviously trying, you know, learning a whole, you know, maybe a whole new system. Who knows? But keeping things simple with just and playing your game. How much do you want to balance? Simple for sure. Yeah. T t today, like obviously, it's gonna be simple game for me because I didn't play for a while. It's gonna be probably like a little bit harder than usual for the body. Um, but I will, I will figure this out on the flight. It's not gonna be a problem. Yeah. Some like tactic stuff we spoke about it with the coaches already. Uh, yeah, got to do some adjustments. It takes a while anyway, but I'm sure it shouldn't be a problem. If I could ask you guys, we've seen you play now, uh, not, but give your own scouting report on yourself. What do you expect to bring to the Los Angeles Kings? Corp, you may bring. Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot calmer version of myself would I be. Uh, you know, just uh, battling for every puck. Uh, you know, just giving it all out there. And that's what it is. Goal is just job is easy. Just stop the puck, you know. So, uh, you know, 100%. Every single night, and uh, go from that. Kind of, kind of same for me. Yeah, I have to stop the puck as well uh, as a defensive <laughs> part. But um, yeah, usually try try to like help fall over the map. And uh, yeah, the first of all, the defense, of course. Uh, that that's why we're here. Uh, but yeah, if you if you like can join the rush, go for that. If you have a room, use it. So it's like kind of, kind of simple as that. Every everyone making mistakes. So we, I mean. Me personally, Corp, either not afraid to do that, so that that's fine. It's human being, 
not going to be a problem. But yeah, you have to just enjoy the game, you know, play, be yourself. Do you guys have previous relationships with anybody in the room already? Know any one of these players at all? Or all new faces for you? All new faces. So uh, it was cool to get in there and every single day was awesome and uh, uh, make ourselves feel comfortable. Yeah, for, for you, you hop right into a playoff race. Uh, how exciting is that when you're moving to a new team and you're going to a team that's 20 games away and is really pushing for something at this time of year? That's awesome. I mean, every single game matters so much. and. Uh, uh, huge games, every single one from now on, and uh, uh, yeah, just really excited to get in there, help the team. Corbin, you know, last last year was a really tough year for you health-wise in a lot of ways. Obviously, that's kind of spread through the whole team. I mean, how much is that fresh start exciting for you personally to have the opportunity to play meaningful games, to have the opportunity to, to establish yourself and and, uh, and be in the situation? It's just really exciting. I mean, after last season. Signed that one-year deal and uh, had the hip surgery, so that was a lot of question marks. And uh, uh, did my best for for the start and throughout the whole season. And uh, I knew there's a chance for me to getting traded. And uh, getting here is a great spot, great team, uh, big games in in the future. So uh, really excited. And for what is the uh, call celebration coming with <laughs> LA? You exactly. I bring my phone with me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this, how do you deal with the perception that you were traded for Jonathan Quick and he's a legend here? How are you going to deal with that? Well, perception? first of all, he's a huge legend. He's a guy who I admired every time I played against him. And uh, I grew up watching him. Um, just a great, great goalie. And uh, yeah, no one's replacing him. I'm, uh, I'm just being me and uh, doing my best here. Is there, a just, is, is there any add at all, added pressure in your mind at all? to say win over a fan base that really had such a connection with Jonathan Quick? Like I said, club legend. So, uh, um, and I, you know, I'm just, just being me and uh, just giving 100% every night and uh, uh, that's it. Don't need to think about it too much. The Kings have kind of struggled for goaltending this season. I mean, it sounds like you're just not really worrying about anything outside of your own games. Do you focus on that kind of thing? Kind of think you can come in and fix the issues or you just Game. I'm just playing my game. No need to worry about anything else than what I can do out there. You know, uh, I keep doing what I've been doing this year, so that's uh, not thinking about anything else than stopping the puck. Apart from um, coming into LA to play hockey, like how much, how familiar are you with the city, and how much time have you spent here? Only time I've been here is for the uh, road trips with uh, Columbus, and that's usually in and out. So, um, haven't seen the city too much. <laughs> I got the burgers too before, <laughs> really good. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen the city too much, but it uh, looks cool. And like I said, everyone takes good care of us, so uh, it's been fun this far. Yeah, burgers is nice, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we, we used to live in uh, Santa Monica there, so it's like pretty, pretty nice area around. But yeah, yeah, I've been only for the road trips as well, so yeah. we'll explore that for sure.